Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are we getting on? Welcome to a brand new Fallout 76 news video. So today, Bethesda have shared a whole bunch of events with us that will be happening over the next three weeks or so that are covering the Halloween period, celebrating that, and of course, celebrating the 25th anniversary of Fallout. So tons to keep us busy there. So let's jump in, have a look at all this stuff. Okay then, so yeah, a whole bunch of events here that are running for about the next three weeks that are, some of them are returning things and there's some other cool bits and pieces as well. So hopefully they should be keeping us busy for the next few weeks and keep things interesting. Looking forward to getting stuck into a whole bunch of this stuff. So, let's have a look. Okay, so we have a new Inside the Vault blog post, lots of fancy Halloween costumes. So, upcoming update, anniversary events, Halloween and more. So, there we go, tons to go for through. So first up, we have a new update arriving on Tuesday. This is uh, kind of sprung on us, but that's cool. Tuesday, October 25th, so that's next Tuesday, we are planning on releasing a new update for Fallout 76. With this update, we're bringing new items into the Atomic Shop to release over the coming weeks, addressing a number of bugs, and kicking off a brand new challenge event for the 25th anniversary. Okay, so we're looking to begin maintenance for Fallout 76 at 10am Eastern Time on October the 25th. We'll be sure to share this update with you in the Bethesda Studios Discord and on the Fallout Twitter. So that's Tuesday, Tuesday morning for those in the US, Tuesday afternoon for uh, those of us over in Europe. But yeah, only a little update, no new content on this one. This is fairly standard, they usually do at least one update like this in between the major updates, so this is about timed halfway, so this does make a lot of sense. And yeah, it's going to be a load of new Atomic Shop stuff and um, a few bugs getting squashed, which is always welcome and a new 25th anniversary challenge that's running. It looks to be centered around weekly challenges, so this should be quite cool. Plenty going on. So let's have a look at that challenge first and foremost. Kick this off a bit. So the Fallout 25th anniversary is nowhere near over. For the next two weeks, visit the Atomic Shop to claim a free daily mystery item. Once claimed, players can complete daily challenges using the mystery item to earn rewards. Completed daily mystery item challenges earn you progress towards weekly challenges to unlock the Wild Mountain Rifle Range prefab in your build menu. So, in short, each day we're going to have a cool new thing to pick up from the Atomic Shop. Using these over a course of a week will allow us to complete weekly challenges. Completing those weekly challenges, which looks to be two weeks long, so two sets of weekly challenges, will unlock a nice prefab for our camps. So definitely going to have to be diving in on that, seeing that. And a bunch of this stuff's been data mined recently, so uh, hopefully some of that cool stuff will be um, what's popping up in this event. It'll probably relate to Halloween as well, because a number of things that were data mined recently were sort of mausoleums and graveyard type themed stuff, and it makes sense that that would appear in time for Halloween in the Atomic Shop. It's been on the PTS recently, so uh, I'm guessing that was the idea, so move them in for Halloween, which was, uh, it was what I was speculating previously, and it looks like that's probably the case, given the timing of this. So, this two-week 25th anniversary challenge event is running from October the 25th through to November the 8th. So that starts on Tuesday and will run for two weeks, 12pm Eastern through to 12pm Eastern, that being uh, about 5pm in the UK. So, yeah, Halloween is up next. Grab your costumes and get ready, it's time to go trick-or-treating. So this is the return of the Halloween event we had last year. It was quite good fun, there were a lot of cool costumes and stuff to pick up from that. Opportunity to head around people's camps to uh, achieve dailies and challenges and stuff like that to advance the Halloween event, which was fun. Obviously there's a load of stuff in the Atomic Shop if you want to build a Halloween camp at the moment. Definitely some cool stuff on that front, so uh, I think I'll have to uh, get the grey matter working on that idea. So starting October 25th, so that's Tuesday again, you can hunt down costumed Scorch throughout Upper Lecture to loot mystery candy, spooky treat bags, and of course, legendary items. Track down the Scorch in, at their usual haunts, keep an ear out for their spine-tingling sounds, and you're bound to find at least a few who've dressed up for Halloween. So yeah, as per, anywhere the Scorch can spawn in the main world, not internal locations, but external locations, you will be able to occasionally run into them that have this kind of spooky woo music. And when you can hear that, chase them down, they'll build be in Halloween fancy dress, they'll be legendary, and you can get legendary items from them, as well as the extra bits and pieces that relate to the event. So, in addition, camps that feature a pumpkin icon, which uh, you can set up now if you want to, but uh, the actual event is when this is geared towards. Camps that feature a pumpkin icon on the map, welcoming sweet-toothed trick-or-treaters who are in search of some candy. 
Don your favourite costume and collect mystery candy from spooky candy bowls at other dwellers' haunted houses. You can also invite trick-or-treaters to your camp by claiming a free spooky candy bowl of your own, which will be available in the Atomic Shop for the duration of the event. So yeah, same as last year. Place your spooky candy bowl with the mystery candy you've collected from Spooky Scorched or train station vendors. So apparently you buy at train stations as well. And whenever you trick or treat or give out candy to trick or treaters, you'll earn progress towards Halloween themed challenges, which you can complete to earn rewards until November the 8th. So again, running for about two weeks. So yeah, essentially there is a Halloween bowl. It's this black one that you can see on the screen here. Drop that into your camp somewhere, put it on a table near the door or something like that, somewhere people can find it. You'll be able to get Halloween candy from the Spooky Scorch to kill, drop that in the bowl, people can claim one, and it will advance their challenges, and it'll advance yours as well. So, yeah, 12pm Eastern on October 25th, through to 12pm Eastern on November the 8th. So yeah, same two weeks, that's starting on Tuesday. Okay, last couple of bits and pieces. So, Hunt for the Treasure Hunter is back again, definitely happy to see that. Hope you'll get a good crack at this one. This is a shorter event, it's just running this weekend, so more Maya treasure hunters have been spotted around Appalachia once again, searching for legendary loot to add to their collection. Listen carefully for their unique sounds as you explore, as these reclusive mole miners are skittish compared to their above-ground counterparts. Claim their mole miner pails as loot for yourself, or purchase any pails from a robot vendor. So yeah, you can head and purchase those pails, take them to a tinker's workbench and craft your own up. Actually, if you really want specific rewards, buying the mid-tier pail Taking it over to a Tinker's Bench and crafting your own is actually a bit more efficient in terms of your, your drop rates and stuff, so it's a good option if you've got the caps for it. The thing to bear in mind there obviously is the caps because they are expensive and the top tier ones are particularly expensive and don't reflect the... the increase in odds does not reflect the increase in price, so best stick with the mid tier ones, but yeah, they will cost you quite a lot of caps. You can basically clean yourself out in one run around the map easily picking those up so something to bear in mind but it does increase your chances of getting those rare awards definitely gonna have to keep an eye out for that myself and of course tons of legendaries hopefully there'll be a script surplus event soon afterwards to get rid of those legendaries with but that one is running this weekend it starts today october 20th and will run through till the 24th which is tuesday so very very cool looking forward to jumping into that the last on this Inside the Vault blog post, which as per usual of course, linked down below, is a Dear Vault Boy. Over the years, Fallout has touched the lives of millions of players worldwide. Join us in celebrating some of these stories with the Vault Boy. This week, Vault Dweller Erin shares the story of discovering love in Appalachia. The Fallout 25 celebration continues all month long. Be sure to check out fallout25.com throughout the month of October to stay up to date on the festivities. Links down here as well, or you can just type it in. Don't forget to also share with us your own Fallout memories and fan creations on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and the official Discord server using the Fallout25 hashtag. See you there. So yeah, if you want to get in on the 25th anniversary stuff, share it and maybe have it pop up on some of Bethesda's accounts, there's an opportunity to do that too. So there we go. Short and sweet. Reasonably compact. Whole bunch of events running over the next two weeks that will cover um, the Halloween period and the remaining part of the 25th Fallout anniversary. And effectively as well, Bombs Drop Day, because that would be the 23rd. So what's that, Sunday? Saturday? Sunday, yeah. So Sunday will be the future anniversary <laughs> of the Great War in Fallout as well. So uh, yeah, watch out for that one. Should be good. Yeah, looking forward to jumping into these events. The Halloween Scorch one was always good. Um, hopefully they'll add some new rewards to it this year around, because they've had a year to work on it. Whether or not they actually will, I mean, they've been working on a lot of other stuff as well, so who knows. Uh, I don't know, because the list of stuff available in there is pretty long. But at the same time, last year it was really quite easy to get, which is nice from an RNG standpoint. But the flip side of that, of course, is that um, once you've got it, you've got it, and you can get it quite quickly. It means you run out of stuff to claim quite quickly. So obviously people who didn't get involved in last year will be getting a chance at all these cool fancy costumes, which are some really cool ones. But uh, those who did, like myself, um, I'm concerned, because they've not mentioned any new rewards, that uh, we may not be getting anything we haven't already got, other than the legendaries, of course, and the challenges and stuff. So there might be some cool stuff there. We'll have to wait and see. See, once we get into the game next week, we will find out after maintenance on Tuesday. So that covers all the details. Hunt for the Treasure Hunter this weekend. And then after that, we've got the 25th anniversary challenge running for two weeks. Spooky Scorch running from two weeks, both of those from Tuesday once the update goes live, and a whole load of more uh, Atomic Shop stuff coming as well after the update, which again will be Tuesday. So, 
whole lot going on, plenty to keep us busy over the next few weeks, definitely worth diving into that, and hopefully there'll be score involved as well so we can advance on the scoreboard for those who have yet to do so, I've got uh, a fair bit of work to do on that front myself. So, on that note, thank you very much for watching, do hope you found this useful and informative, if you did, you know where all the buttons are down below the video and in the description and all that good stuff, please do check that out, it massively helps out, hugely, hugely appreciate it. Thank you very much to everybody who has done. Do join us for live streams as well, of course, playing Fallout 76. We're coming towards the end of Tiny Teams Wonderlands, and we've got some spooky stuff to close out the year with planned, so uh, should be some fun streams coming up too as well. I uh, do hope you'll join us for those. Not for now, thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to speaking to you all very, very soon.